y'all made it to this final video on this sports court construction. In this episode, we'll be installing the ball rebounding courtesy of Flex Court and putting together this portable pickleball from PickleNet Deluxe from MansionTennis.com. So unwrapping the box where the poles are, I initially had two ball rebounders ordered thinking they were going to be portable and I can move them easily. Unfortunately, they are not. As you can see, the poles come neatly wrapped. Now, although the rebounders were not mobile, I decided to just keep one and follow the instructions on the, on the setup. My property is under hard rocks, so I'm using the st steel rock spear to shed through the rocks. Here it calls for the hole to be at least three feet deep and the PVC sleeve two feet into the ground. And that's what it looks like when the sleeve's already in the ground. I just laid the poles and connected them to get my space measurements and back the middle pole 12 inches so the ball does not hit the pole. And that's the third one there. Now I use quick crete high strength, about 60 pound rated. Thus I gave it about a day to harden and then started putting up the poles. As always my son is uh, wanting to help. So has a nice little snug fit. I left the sleeves in there just in, in case. Next I added the clamps, which is a 9 16 bolts and nuts. You might need uh, two people here for this one. I had my son hold the brace tube while I tighten it. So actually, uh, this is the brace tube, and it actually has a 5/8 uh, screw uh, built in. But you'll need to access it with a 5/8 uh, Allen wrench. And so the top, and the bottom, and especially the top requires two people. Come to think of it, look at my son. He's he's quite high. extremely uh, helpful eight-year-old. Now the winter in California gets dark fast. Here just putting up the netting. We'll have uh, better pictures in the morning. This is a 10 feet by 20 feet ball rebounder. Perfect for the paddle tennis court slash pickleball court. Here's the next morning, this is better lighting. Here's what the brace looks like. By the way, the tubes are hollow. Unfortunately, you'll need this plastic cap to cover to reduce erosion and rust. Here's the bungee cords. There are 30 provided. I looped them around to get more tension and hopefully uh, more bounce. On the bottom, there are 20 adjustable straps to get even greater tension. So I'm just evenly spacing them apart. And I'm just uh, adjusting the bungee cords again. This is what it looked like prior to me looping it around. It didn't provide enough tension. That's what it looks like when it's uh, set up. Now here I'm just uh, tightening the adjustable straps. The vinyl skirts does a great job of hiding those uh, straps. 
and they're uh, held together by zip ties. And the kids are anxious to test the rebounder. They like playing, they like kicking the ball against the netting, as well as playing tennis. However, when they play tennis, the ball still goes over the top of the pole. So kids will just need to practice some more. And so the surface on this flex court is pretty awesome. It has a little bit of a grip to it. Easy on the joints. But if they do slide on it, it can certainly burn as well. And this is my final piece to the sports court. Is the tennis paddle, or I'm sorry, is the pickle ball net or the paddle tennis net. Saw the pickle net deluxe by on court, off court on mansiontennis.com. Now the great thing about this is it is extremely portable and mobile, easy to assemble. It has its own bags. It, break it apart in less than five minutes and carry it to carry it to wherever you want it to be. It also has brakes in case you don't want it moved. Here my children are helping me get the other side put in. So it has a sleeve that it just fits over the the metal pole and the poles are pretty heavy duty and then it has a velcro strap to prevent any sag on the top then there's a stick in the middle just to keep that height uh, consistent as well so here's the ball rebounder in live action hitting the tennis ball against the net rebounder has a nice little return off the net, it doesn't make a pounding noise as it would if you were hitting it against concrete or maybe a wooden wall. So far I like it. Do a little volley there as well. Now what I like about the Pickle Net Deluxe is that it's portable and mobile and so in order to prevent the fall of the ball from going into the pool. I just edge off that in there on the left. And so now I'm using a bigger ball just to see uh, the bounce it gives. As you can see, the return is fairly decent. So the kids will be playing soccer, paddle tennis, tennis, practicing their serves, along with playing basketball. So it's all sorts of all sorts of activities that they can do. And here you guys go, this is my finished project, my multi-sports court in my backyard. And so I, I have the Mega Slam Hoops, which is first class, flex court surface, which I love the color, vibrant crimson and blue of the alma mater KU. The, the surface is easy on the joints. The Pickle Net Deluxe by On Court, Off Court from uh, MansionTennis.com and then the 10 by 20 feet ball rebounder from Flexport. So if you guys are interested in any of these products, I'll leave a link in the description. Otherwise, take care and we'll see you in the next episode. Please like and subscribe for future videos. Thanks, Cali Mood.